Hello guys, my name is Ankit Parikh and I am from Deal Learning Hub. Today we will be learning how to create a 3D pillow in 3ds Max 2018 using cloth modifier. And before that, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you for that. And okay, let's get started. First of all, what we have to do is create a box and make sure that its height is 0 0.01 and you can go with your own length and width I don't mind with, uh, mind with that but make sure that height is 0 0.01 and also you have to increase segments 50 and 50 in length and width and though the height is too low but also we need uh, segments in height make them 10 okay now what we have to do is create a plan for the surface and select both the objects okay what we can do is just rename them so that we won't be confused okay select both of them and go to modifier and in the modifier list type cloth you'll find cloth click on that and in modifier tab you will see object properties click on this button and select the pillow the box make it cloth by selecting this ready button and you can select your own any preset I'm gonna go with default make sure the pressure is 25 select the plan and make it a color as an object hit ok then what you have to do is deselect both the object and select only the pillow make sure that only the pillow is selected not the both and then you can click on this simulate as soon as you click the simulate button a simulation will be played and you will see that your pillow is being filled with the air and it's being simulated on the plan you created so you require both pillow and plan though you can delete the plan after you have created the pillow but while creating the pillow you do require a plan okay this is how it will look after the simulation is completed if you can see we are already created a pillow but we can add some more details in it so what it has done is actually it has created a simulation as like an animation of the pillow so it's an animation of a box that how it becomes a pillow if I play it You can see this okay so what you have to do is make sure that this okay now what we can do is convert to it, uh, editable poly and if you see now the simulation is gone so you don't need to worry about this timeline okay select any edge any edge in here okay when you have selected just click on the loop button and what it will do is that it will select all the edges in that line so we can do what we can do is create a shape from selection click on this button and it will create a shape through which we can do multiple we can do some detailing select the shape and go to the rendering tab click on the rendering and enable it in renderer and in viewport so now you can see that we have a nice shape what we can do is change it to the rectangle change it length and you can increase its width 
and angle okay so here we have a nice pillow you can delete the plan now you can use it anywhere you want you can group them both together so you want to mesh it up okay now you can do just copy and see the result you can change their size decrease them in height so here is what you can do with the float modifier thank you for watching guys make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the like button thanks again